let's do this thing. Uh, hello up there. How's everybody doing? Uh, so we just got done uh, with the session and we're kind of bored and we're hanging out. We've had a couple beers and uh, we got nothing to do. So what I want to do is show anybody that's interested uh, this samba beat that I just absolutely love. I've loved it for a long time and uh, you know, we should, we should share the wealth a little bit, spread, spread the word, the good word of the samba. So uh, the beat sounds like this. I'm going to play it uh, kind of, you know, a little fast and all together. And you can hear, you know, if you even want to play it or whatever. It sounds like this. kind of talk about this beat. Um, so the coolest thing about learning this is you really don't have to be at a drum set to practice it. Uh, you could be, you know, in front of your TV or on a pillow with sticks or even, you know, lunch or something on a table with your hands. What we're going to do is split it up between our hands and our feet. Uh, the feet is an ostinato beat. It sounds like this. And you'll see this in most, some, almost pretty much all sambas and bossa novas. So bass, foot, bass, bass, foot, bass, 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 bass. Now, the hardest thing about this here, it's not playing this part. It's not that difficult. Um, like real authentic uh, Brazilian uh, music here has that first bass drum hit a little bit louder and the second a little softer like this. Now this is something I'm still not even great at. I haven't spent a lot of time with it, but if you want to, uh, and you're practicing this, try to make that first bass drum a little louder and the second one a little softer. And obviously everything that you're learning, start slow and then speed it up as you feel more comfortable with it. Um, that's just something you should do if you want to learn this every day for a week, just with your feet. Again, you don't need a drum set, boom, boom, boom. Just when you're bored, you do that with your feet. And you want to get to the point where you don't even have to think about your feet anymore. You don't have to think about that beat. That ostinato is just in, ingrained in your brain. You can really worry about what's going on your, with your hands because this is this beat has a lot happening here. Um, so let's let's move on now. Let's say it's been a week and your feet are feeling really oh it's been a, two hours whatever, uh, and you're feeling really good with your legs. Let's learn this part here. Now I'm going to play a couple of sixteenth notes and then stop, talk about it for a second, and then slowly I'm going to add more and more to this beat. Um, so feel free to pause it. You can notate it if you want to. Like, again, we're bored and just kind of drunk, so I'm not, I'm not going to notate it. I apologize. Um, but if you want to, go ahead. You can pause it. Uh, I'm going to break it into kind of simple rhythms here with your hands, and then we're just going to end up putting it all together. All right, let's begin here. That's going to be your side stick with this rim together. And then this is the eighth note here. And this is going to follow up right after this. The 16th notes, I guess. And play that for a little bit. Again, no need for a drum set. Just use, you got your left and your right hands. Let's add some more. You're going to add two more 16th notes here on, the, on this. Uh, racked uh, the, the rim of, the, of your floor top. Okay. Play that a couple times. When that feels really good, let's add a little bit more. I'm sorry. Okay, so you're coming back to this this side stick. Try not to drop the stick like this. As much control as you can here. You can turn the stick around if you want to from here to here. Get a little bit more body out of it. And when it comes to rim clicks here, you can line up the snare that's on the bottom. Uh, well, my snares are off, but say your snares are on. This is just for rim clicks and uh, in general side sticking. If you line it up with the way that the snares are going, it's going to sound really nice. Listen to this. As opposed to. Right here, line it up right in the middle of that snare. Sound. Um, 
So you're coming back to this here. Try to drop that beat a little bit before you do the side stick. So. Okay. One more time. Once that feels really good, let's add a little bit more. After this second side stick, you're gonna follow it up. Man, that floor tom sounds bad, guys. I'm sorry. Um, you're gonna follow it up with the 16th note here on the floor tom. Okay. Oh God, that sounds really bad. Right. I'm sorry. Keep keep rolling, guys. I'm just gonna get the sound a little bit better. So we've got. a little bit more. We're back over here on the on the rim again. That's right after. E and uh, I guess. Take that back. Study on the side stick, it's on the rack. So so far your hands are okay. You're gonna be snare, tom, snare floor, tom, snare. Let's add the rest here. Back to the rim. Right here. So we got. Let's add the very end here. That was supposed to be a rim, sorry. You have your hands. You want to start really slow. And once you have that memorized, nice and slow, uh, play, play with the click and uh, uh, keep pushing the tempo up slower and uh, faster and faster. Use your ears. Really open up your ears to try to mix yourself here. You don't want like uh, one rack time being louder than the floor, the floor being louder than the rack. And for stuff like this, if you're a rock drummer like me, trying to play in a different genre, a different style, uh, it's important to really, uh, again, listen to how you're playing everything. You don't want it to be pushy. You don't want to be uh, on top of the beat. Um, you want this to be kind of finesse. Try to mix yourself. You've got your hands down, you've got your feet, so let's put it together. Um, uh, do, do this the same way that you were doing with your hands. Uh, start slowly with a click. Push that. <coughs> Push the click up uh, faster and faster. So you can feel really good with it. Don't try to play this fast automatically. You know, play it at a, at, at a tempo that you feel comfortable with. You can always start slow and you'll always get faster, especially the way you play. So, uh, again, fast. 